and should you be worried about how safe you are in the air right now? Robert Mark is a former airline pilot and editor of JetWine.com. As a flyer, if, if you tell me they're checking the wiring again, I'm nervous. Well, I, I understand that, and, and I think the most important aspect for the customers is that too much inspection is not a bad thing. Uh, you can never inspect airplanes too much. I mean, these airplanes, the MD-80s, are old airplanes. Uh, they are almost 30 years old. Americans have been making uh, uh, plans to get rid of them for a long time, but of course they're squeezed by, by the finances of the cost of new airplanes, just like many people are with the cost of a car. So is this a, an example of the FAA just trying to prove to everybody that they're tough enough, that they're forcing these inspections? Is that what we're seeing play out? Oh, that, that's what I think a good portion of this is. And in one sense, uh, those of us that work with the FAA for a long time, uh, cozy always seems to have a, a, a bad connotation to it. But sometimes having a good working relationship with the inspectors who, who look over your carrier is, a, is not a bad thing at all. <laughs> When we bring in Rob Mark to speak to our group, I know we're going to get a, a very interesting, enlightened, coming to talk about marketing or uh, how to uh, adapt to new technologies and, and the ways that, that uh, we communicate with each other. Uh, as uh, funding levels at the state and federal level started falling off for general aviation airports, it's become increasingly necessary to find uh, other sources of revenue. And so one of the things that we wanted to do was to expose to the, to the airports in our system some of the opportunities for that. Um, I would highly recommend having Rob Mark come and speak.